if you're watching this video, that means I've been murdered. And I think I know who did it. So I graduated from the technical college and got a full-time job. But there was always something that was in the back of my mind, something that I always wanted to do. And that was go to film school and start working in the film industry, making movies. It had been a dream, not very long, to be honest with you, three years, four years at that point. But something that I constantly thought about. So I was working full time and I start researching different colleges, different programs. But I had already gone to school and I was already working so I kind of wanted a fast track, high intense program, film program to be a part of. And I remember doing a lot of research, but it wasn't very good research. And I happened to find, I wish I would have researched this, but I don't even remember the name of the college, uh, Michigan Institute of film, MIF, maybe, maybe I have that completely wrong. It was uh, probably, the school was probably an hour north of Detroit. And what caught my attention was that it was a school created by Michigan filmmakers who had gone and done stuff in Los Angeles, worked on movies, and then came back and started a, uh, a film school there. And it was advertised as less expensive and and they, you know, I think like every film school, they talked about graduates went on to work on this movie and this movie and this movie and this movie and this movie. And this movie. Something I would learn about later. But that's for another story. Uh, so for some reason this school really caught my attention and I would go on the website every single day and kind of just I don't know, review it. Just I would use it as daydreams to think about what it would be like to go there and start making movies and start working towards the film industry. So I don't know how long I, I did this dance with my dreams, but eventually I made the decision that I was going to go and visit the school and honestly in my head what my thought was I'm gonna go visit the school find out that I like it move to Michigan because it's only one state away so it's not as drastic as California or New York and move there go to go to the film industry or go to the school and then get a job <laughs> making movies So, I think I took one day off of work, decided that I was going to drive nine, it was like eight hours, eight or nine hours, over there by myself to visit the school. And 
when I got there, I kind of realized a couple things. The city itself was kind of a suburb, and which was fine, but it was just, it didn't have a lot of character. It was just like an outline city. And the school itself was fine, but it was kind of like what I had already done. It was a technical school uh, with a couple of classrooms and equipment that I had kind of worked with already. And they were kind of, kind of I keep saying kind of, they were guaranteeing that you know, you go through this program, you get to work on a movie like each year, each, like it was a two year program. And in that two years, you guys would be working on uh, a feature of the guy who, one of the guys who created or founded the school, he was still making features in Michigan and you could work, you'd work on that movie. So I went to the school and I asked a bunch of questions and I remember having some really good conversations with the, the person who gave me the tour. And then it was done and I, it was something that I had spent so much time daydreaming and thinking this was the path and this is the way, and this is where I'm going and this is my future. And on the way back, I tried to convince myself that, that it was still alive. But I knew deep down inside that that was not the path I was going to take. And I would be starting over from... <laughs> my plans were... My, my plans were done. You just... I wasn't moving that direction, so I was lost. I didn't know what to do. I think there's... I think why I decided to tell the story today is that there's those times where you look forward to something or you have a plan for something and then plans just change want to I don't say you I want to sit and soak in the fact that plans have changed and kind of grieve the grieve the the plans that you had but uh, sometimes you just have to pivot do something else. Move on. What a fun conversation for today. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good day. I hope that all your dreams come true. Uh,